Good morning, you two pipe smokers. I've been trying to make this video for a few days. And uh, the Artful Codger who did a fantastic job on uh, pipe smoking. Um, and I agree with a lot of what he said. But I'll speak for myself in one department. When I get into something new, no matter what it is, um, pipe smoking being no different, I tend to go overboard. I want to know every aspect of it, from different style pipes to um, different tobaccos. Now I'm dabbling and making pipes. And I was a pipe smoker early on, about 15, 20 years ago. And back then I must have had about 25 or 30 pipes. That's when I discovered the, uh, the Gersten uh, system pipe, which is probably one of my favorite pipes be because it's the first pipe I could smoke and not get the tongue bite because I can relieve the moisture. Because I wasn't smoking properly <coughs> was the main reason, which I didn't know that. But that being said, I dropped it, and I would smoke a cigar now and then. Never was a cigarette smoker, thankfully. But I kept all my pipes. A uh, few were missing for some reason, I don't know why. Then I got back into it because of the, uh, YouTube. I caught, uh, it was probably a matches video, matches, 860. And that sparked my interest again, so I broke out some of my old pipes, and the, the flame was lit, so to speak, and I got back into it. I have probably, embarrassing to say, uh, but probably over 100 pipes. My favorite is the Peterson. Matter of fact, I just bought, this is my second one, it is the first one. I just love this pipe. It's my go-to pipe. Um, so I wanted a second one, so I ordered it. It's a filtered pipe also, which I prefer filtered pipes. But getting back, I found I must have 30 pounds of tobacco. I guesstimated that yesterday with a calculator. Um, and yet I'm stuck on Captain Black Royal. And that's because of something I said a while back. I think any tobacco, any, with the exception I'll give you if you get one that gives you tongue bite um, right off the gate, um, you tend not to want to try that or give it a chance. But if you give any tobacco, even one you really, eh, it's okay, but I not going to go not head over heels for it. Smoke that for a week or two straight and that will become your go-to tobacco. The problem is most likely you won't give it that chance because you're thinking in your head why should I do this when I have my favorite sitting in the corner over there that I know smokes good. And that's the dilemma. So I think for me, I'm done searching for tobacco. And what really hit home for me, about a month ago, I looked on eBay for McClellan, McClellan's. I never had, I have frog, a can of Frog Morton, which to me is, eh, it's okay. But I never tried the Christmas cheer or some of those other uh, more popular that people go head over heels for. And as I'm typing in the bid, it was $89, I think. I said to myself, i got to be out of my mind. If I should win this tobacco, number one, I'm paying three times what it's worth. Or more. The second problem, if I happen to like it, it's unattainable. When am I going to get this stuff afterwards? So I, I said, you know what? It's, it stopped the craziness. It's not worth it. 
I think the draw to it is because it's rare now and it's obsolete, you tend to want it. Um, so I just ordered yesterday some more Captain Black Royal. I think that's it for me. That's going to be the tobacco. Um, I bought some Shenandoah, which is okay. This hints to me of Captain Black Royal. And that's the second problem. I tend to compare every tobacco I smoke to a tobacco I like, and when it doesn't meet that criteria in the first bowl or two, I don't even want to give it a chance anymore because I'm saying to myself, why am I going to suffer through this when I got a tobacco I know I like? So I think for me the tobacco acquisitions is over. Like I said before, I feel like putting all the tobaccos in one big freaking drum and just smoke it and learn to like it and until it's all gone and I don't know. I, I, I refrain from doing that, but it's become a monster. The tobacco thing has become a monster. The pipes we can make an argument for. I like the artisan of the different pipes. Uh, some do smoke better than others. Uh, some smoke cooler. Um, like, for example, uh, Boswell, most of his pipes, they're not, they're, all of them, they're not filtered, but yet that's the one pipe I could smoke a non-filtered pipe. His chamber with that tapered uh, chamber that he uses seems to have a major effect. But you can go overboard and, and burn your tongue if you go four or five bowls straight. Uh, I've done it. Uh, where I can go five bowls with this pipe and not have a problem at all. So once again, I think the codgers probably by accident got it right because they didn't have the choices we have. But um, I think find a tobacco you like and when you find that, in my opinion, save yourself some money, buy a bunch of that, and let that to be your tobacco. And that's one reason I don't do tobacco reviews, because somebody's watching and say, Captain Black Royal, that's, that's hideous, that's terrible, but I don't know, I like it. Now, also, on that same note, they say Lane 1Q is uh, Captain Black Royal. I have Lane 1Q. To me, it smokes, it's good, but it doesn't smoke as good to me as Captain Black Royal. Now, maybe that's mind over matter. I don't know, but I've done it a few times uh, in a comparison, and Captain Black Royal tastes slightly better to me. But maybe the combination is not 100% spot on. That's why, I don't know. But I do know for a fact, take any tobacco that you sort of like, give that tobacco a month, and two things will happen. You'll discover things about that tobacco you didn't know, and you'll become so fond of that that you won't want to try another tobacco. It's just like going with coffee. I, don't, I used to put equal in my coffee. About two months ago, I stopped and in, in about three days, it was hard to get the coffee down. And now, if you put equal, I'd spit it out, number one. And number two, I, I taste the coffee better without the equal. I taste the hints of chocolate and, um, depending on the coffee, some cinnamon hints and different. You, you, it woke up my taste buds because the equal was clouding the taste of the coffee. So I used to like the sweetness of it instead of liking the coffee for it, if that makes any sense. And I think tobacco is the same way. I think you could take probably a bad tobacco, if that was the only tobacco you can get, and in three or four weeks time, 
that will become a tobacco that you say, man, this is not, I'm glad I gave it a chance. It's not that bad. So with that, check out Artful Codger. He has an excellent channel. He's a guy that you, I'd pay to sit down and have a pipe with that man. But don't get any ideas on it. <laughs> anyway, guys and girls, have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next one.